Hey, what's up, everybody? I know it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, but I want to get back in the swing of things, and I want to do it with the Seattle Mariners. Now, 90 wins is nothing to be embarrassed about. 90 wins almost had them in the playoffs. They were in contention to the last day of the season. But to be completely honest with you, where front offices look these days isn't even in the win column. They look to run differential. And with the minus 51 run differential that the Mariners had, they were expected to win about 76 games last year. So if you're thinking 90 wins is an incredible building block for future success, it might not be. The Mariners, if they don't keep on this building trend, might be right back in the 70 win column next season. So what can they do to make themselves a better team and continue this upward trend that Mariners fans need to see? All right, let's start with the great news you guys have a ton of top level prospects on their way potentially next season having an effect you got Rodriguez Marte what I want to look at is Kirby and Hancock those two young pitchers could have a massive effect on your starting rotation as soon as next year and that could be a tremendous boost now when you look a little bit deeper down the pipeline the guys like Brandon Williamson Connor Phillips Levi Stout these guys are probably not going to be in the majors for another couple of years, so these might be pieces that you want to move. And not anyone specifically, but you might be able to get a couple of them together and move for a piece that can affect your winning now. All right, I think the Mariners already made a mistake this year, and that's letting Kyle Seeger hit the free agent market. This is a left-handed third baseman who always plays 150-plus games. He hit 35 home runs, knocked in 100-plus runs last year. That's consistency and something that I want to work with as opposed to letting hit the free agent market for absolute no return. Now, I am very excited about this core players moving forward. Julio Rodriguez, Mitch Hanniger, Ty France, Kyle Lewis, J.P. Crawford, Jared Kelnick. These guys are all going to be great players and work really, really well together. But when you talk about the free agency, this is, this is where all the hard work is done because literally every star player has been linked with going to Seattle, especially Marcus Simeon. The reason I say hold off on that is because you're buying him at an absolute high right now. The production will obviously decrease due to age and the factor of him going from Toronto to Seattle, which is not as home run friendly as Toronto is. Now, maybe you might want to think about taking some of that youth and package it together for somebody like Matt Olson. Okay, Matt Olson would be an incredible addition to this team. Big left handed bat, good defense, great power and much younger. Now, I am hesitant on the Mariners spending big money on free agent acquisitions because with Robinson Cano, you spend a lot of money on one player, it doesn't work out, and the team suffers for it. But there is one free agent out there that honestly seems to be like a match made in heaven. If you guys haven't heard of Seiya Suzuki, you will soon. He's coming. This guy is a stud. He's been tearing the cover off the ball for a better part of a decade in the Japanese league, and I can't think of a better team for him to come to than the Seattle Mariners. And finally, I think you should go after Marcus Stroman. His style of play would play great in Seattle. Uh, ground ball pitcher who in Seattle could take his game to a completely new level.